my name is Rupima Pandey. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Uttarakhand, India. As we all know that many countries are been facing water crisis and my country is one of them. But are the government and people really taking strict steps to conserve our natural resources? Well, from my state Uttarakhand, Holy, Holy River Ganga flows which is 2,525 kilometers long and has been prayed by approximately 1 billion of Hindu. It is a water resource of approximately 400 million of people. And for your information, Ganga is also one of the 10 rivers which have been responsible for 90% of plastic waste that end up in the seas. The river contains our household waste, untreated sewage and chemical waste which has been dumped by factories every single day into it. Yamuna is also one of the most polluted river in India. Yamuna River at Delhi is so much polluted that sometimes foam starts coming out of it. Many reports have been said that the water of these rivers is not even fit for bathing but people used to drink this water and this really affects their body and immune system. Not only humans, this water affect the marine life living in there also. The condition of these rivers have been getting worse and worse every day. But people, sometimes people say that it is very difficult for them to clean these rivers. But due to uh, COVID-19, the lockdown of 21 days proved them all wrong. Even though the lockdown isn't completed yet, but the condition of Ganga, Yamuna and many rivers such like them is improving. Because no more sewage, no more chemical waste and household, household waste is being dumped into them. So let's take a pledge that this Earth Day we will stop destroying our natural resources and will save them for future generations. And we will let these rivers flow freely. Hashtag Earth's Rebirth Day.